friends, so today we are going to be reading the Don't Touch My Hair. Alright, and so this story is by Sherry Miller. I want you to look at the page and what do you notice all around the cover page? There's a bunch of hands. And then if you look here, there's some more hands reaching out. And if you look at the little girl here, what does it look like she's doing? Looks like she's running away from all the hands to me. If you look at her face, does she look happy or does she look sad? She does not look very happy. She looks very sad. So we're going to find out what this story is about. Why she's running away from all of these hands. I'm Aria, and this is my hair. I love my hair. It's soft and bouncy and grows up towards the sun like a flower. I love it up or down, styled or wild. I don't care. I just want it to be free. How do you like to style your hair? Do you like it up or down? Or do you like it to be out and wild? Actually, everyone loves my hair too. When I walk down the street, I hear so many compliments. It's so big. How did you get it so fluffy? I wish I had hair like that. So everybody is giving her compliments. So they're saying nice things about her hair. It's really great that people love my hair, but some love it so much that they want to touch it. I don't like this. What does it feel like? They are so curious about my hair that they try to touch it without even asking for permission. <clears throat> so it looks like she is running away. Don't think that she likes everyone touching her hair and she wants them to ask for permission. So to ask for permission, that means you ask before you do it. <clears throat> and they are not doing a good job also important that we respect everyone's personal space and ask them before we touch them. I get very good at avoiding hands. I have to start looking for ways to hide my hair. So Aria doesn't like them touching her hair and she should tell them, no, please don't touch my hair. But it's also important that we ask permission before we touch anybody. Remember that. I tried blending in with the scenery, but I'm quickly spotted over here. I try hiding under water, but that doesn't last long. Oh wow, I love your hair. Can I touch it? Well, even the mermaid and the octopus want to touch Aria's hair. But if we look, the octopus says, can I touch it? And so that is very important because he's asking for permission before he just touches her hair. So the octopus is doing a good thing here. He's being respectful of her personal space. I escape to the jungle, but the critters just can't keep their hands to themselves. Let me touch. Me first. No, me. Even in the tallest castle tower, someone is always there, ready and waiting to touch my hair. Girl, your hair is fierce. 
even the dragon likes area there. No matter how far I go, it doesn't seem to matter. How do you get it so big? Well, she's in space. Finally, I find a place where no one wants to touch my hair. But after a few hours, I get lonely. She's on an island all by herself. So nobody can touch her hair, but she's so sad. I decide to go home. So Aria is leaving her island. And she's going to go back towards where everyone wants to touch her hair. I try my best to ignore the attention, but as a hand sinks into my hair, wow, it looks so soft. Oh, it is soft. I decide I can't take it anymore. That's it. That's enough. Don't touch my hair. This is my hair. It's great that you love it. I love it too. But please, just look and don't touch without my permission. <clears throat> Next time someone wants to touch my hair, they ask. Can I touch your hair? I reply, not today. Okay. So they are asking permission and she said, no, you can't touch my hair. And they respected her personal space. And they said, okay, so that's important because even when you ask permission, somebody might tell you no. So you have to listen to what they tell you. Now it feels great to walk down the street without anyone trying to touch my hair. My curls are free to reach for the sun, just like a flower. Some people still ask to touch my hair, but if I say no, they listen. How are you today? Hello. But if you ask nicely, sometimes I say yes. So now she said yes, and she's letting that little girl touch her hair.